treasures of the deep, you are an ex-Navy SEAL who gets off on underwater exploration. You're also after some dude named Simon Black. There's Simon Black. Old Simon's a wealthy industrial tycoon who's looking to take control of the world. In each mission, you'll be given your dive objective. But there are a few things to remember about this game. You're always underwater, so you'll definitely need some air. You could buy air, but why buy when you can get it for free? Blast other divers and get their air and other goodies. But along the way, you should snatch up treasure chests, gold coins, and other interesting artifacts. Netting anchors, turtles, and lobster traps will give you extra gold. Sharks won't, so ignore these suckers. Or if they give you a hard time, put them on the endangered species list. Explore and blow up as much as you can. Always check your map and sonar for stuff you've missed. A black square means you left something behind. And in this game, every inch counts. Almost all boards have a secret tablet that you'll need to get to the final board of Atlantis. And after each board, you'll get the result of your dive. So the more loot you pillage, the more you get to buy. Cool, shopping. Hold on, Timmy. How much cash do you have on you? But I don't have any pockets. Well, everything here costs money, so for your first mission, you're stuck with what you have. That's it? Ten nets? That's all, huh? Well, you better get wet and find out what Treasures of the Deep is all about. Treasure. In Wreck of the Conception, you must retrieve the Ruby Vatican Cross. For extra gold, net the lobster traps. What the hell was that? Hey, Game Brain, you got a wife or are you trying to get in touch with your feminine side? No, Tim, that was your dive coordinator. She'll give you tips on how to get more money and hints to where the secrets are hidden on each board. Try riding the manta ray. He'll bring you to some goodies. And the first tablet piece. When you've knocked off all the cargo subs and nabbed the cross, surface and see how much loot you acquire. Now that you finally have some cash, you can do some shopping. Med kits and air ponies are a smart shopper's best buys. You'll need them for later. Hitler's lost gold is a good place for earning. It has plenty of gold and very few bad guys. Your first mission is to quickly deliver the time bomb. The currents will speed you along the way. Use the map and steer your way towards the red dots. Try to nab the hourglasses. That'll give you more time. Once you get to the boulder, select the time bomb by pressing the triangle and press the square to release it. Now get some distance from that sucker. Now go back to ground zero and destroy and pillage everything on the ocean floor. You can also retrace your steps to pick up any gold you may have missed. Once all the chests are recovered, find the ancient Greek frame of Atlantis, and you're out of there. Before you go on to Montezuma's Revenge, stock up on air and med kits. The cave system is so tight, no other subs besides the USN R1 will fit. Another good thing to have is night vision goggles, or plenty of flares, because it's dark in those caves. The currents and whirlpools are good things to transport you to other parts of the board. You will have to blow up part of the cave system to enter a secret room with a tablet piece. Watch out for the falling rock overhead. Shoot the proximity mines with your gun. They'll cause a heap of damage otherwise. Find the figurine to open the door to the skull rack room. Then follow the caves until you come to the door. Shoot the paddle switch to open the door and kill the aquatic monster with some mine. Or just jet right past him to get to the skull rack in the next room. Now get out of the caves to the surface before the piranhas and alligators get you. By now, you should be sitting pretty with cash. You're gonna need a faster sub for the next board because things are gonna get rough. With the porpoise, diver's straits will be much easier. Your standard gun is excellent for destroying chained mines. Or if you're a good shot, shoot the first one and set off a chain reaction. 
Then to recap the oil spills, one well-placed mine is all you need. The oil rig can't absorb more than two mine hits, so go easy. As always, blow up everything to acquire more weapons and wealth. Speedboats and enemy subs go down easy when you use seeker mines and missiles. Find the only sunken speedboat near one of the oil rigs and blast it. Then pick up your tablet piece and head for the shower. For Sub Traficante, you'll need a deep class sub. Sell your speedster and buy yourself an underwater tank. These big daddies can take a whooping and handle a huge payload. So stock up on your weapons if you've got the cash. Pick up some magnetic mines and some UV missiles. They're attracted to gym suit divers as well as subs. Wise choice while shopping, and they're great for killing unseen enemies. First, destroy all cargo subs and pick up all the floating torpedoes and other goodies. Weapon crates on the floor have mines and UV missiles. Blow them up to get more firepower. Once you've picked off the last cargo sub, pump a few bullets into the sunken cargo ship. Search the hull of the ship to find the tablet piece, and you're out of there. You can ditch the heavyweight and go for the sleeker, faster model sub for Bermuda Triangle. But if you're low on cash, go back to the board you already cleared and get rich. The Viper will outrun enemies and beat the currents of whirlpools. Grab plenty of nets for all the floating passengers and then get wet. The Triangle will play tricks on your map and sonar and even your weapon system. Just speed out of the area until everything returns to normal. Then line up the red dot on your sonar scope and it will lead you to your objective. The first thing is to snag Dr. Rayachek in the midst of the plane wreckage. If you don't, it's gonna be a fight to get him back. Toss a mine at the sunken wooden ship near the upper right-hand corner of the map and retrieve the tablet piece. Then net up all the passengers and flight data recorders to complete the board. Make sure you purchase the ROV in this tricky subterranean fiasco for a quick getaway. The sharks are numerous and hungry in this area, so keep moving and shooting. First, you'll need mines to blow up the shield generators. Try to nab the guard towers and enemy ROVs surrounding the generator. And torpedo the arms of the nuclear reactor. But before you surface, make sure you check out the tablet that's hidden in the top middle square of your map. Pick up some UV missiles or seeker mines for those pesky enemy subs. Extra med kits might help on this one. There are tons of angry subs out there. Shoot all seismic devices with torpedoes, or a well-placed mine could knock off a couple. When you exit the tunnels, make a hard right into a secret tunnel for super med kits, air, and the tablet piece. Now use your standard gun to shoot the chains on the escape pods. But be careful, a mine for an enemy could cause calamity for imprisoned researchers. Net all dead researchers for extra cash or just get out of the chaos and surface after you free all the pies. You'll have to get another burly sub for this board and some night vision goggles because you're headed for the bottom of the earth. This board will be tough because of the enemy subs, gym suit divers, and smokers. But if you shoot everything, you can chalk up a huge amount of cash. With these big subs, this super speed code might be handy. Pause the game and input this code. Once the first rocket booster is kaput, follow the map to an elevated landing. It looks like a donut on your map. That's where the tablet lies and some helpful power-ups. Now keep moving towards the second rocket booster and plant a mine. Be sure to get some distance when you knock off the fuel tank. That puppy will blow and destroy the rest of the shuttle wreckage. Net the sunken satellite at the corner of the map to send it home. There are many dangers on this board. So if you're done with your missions, don't hang around. Surface and get some decompression treatment. You're going to the South Pole, so you'll need a dry suit and a new sub to keep you warm in safe passage. You'll have to be patient on this one and escort your ships to Simon Black's nuclear sub. Torpedoes will sink icebergs that pose a threat to your ships. And you can shoot the mines with your standard machine gun and save your other weapons for the boss. 
There's a trench in the large reef in the middle of your map. Inside are some goodies, a tablet piece, some med kits, and a plasma bomb, all of which you'll need, because wrecking Simon Black's Seawolf class sub is no easy task. Keep moving and plant your biggest bombs on him. If Simon escapes, no big whoop. You've got one more chance to get him. Welcome to Simon Black's secret ice base. By now, you ought to be sitting pretty with cash. So blow it on all the missiles, mines, and bombs you can handle. Destroy all the torpedo launchers to open the first doors. But keep your distance. You will see them before they see you. Once inside the cave system, bring down all the power generators. Be careful of the floating torpedoes. Shoot them with your gun or drop a mine to destroy a bundle of them. A cluster of ice spikes leads to your last tablet piece and a ton of more goodies. After the power generators are down, go to town on the underwater crew bunkers and hangars, but save some of your weapons, because the fat lady is about to sing, and it may just be for you. Simon's got a lot of firepower and armor. Never take him head on. Always keep moving and try to get behind him to plant a plasma bomb on him. Or try to maneuver a mine right on one of his weapons. But if you're really sneaky, try this and drop the mother load on him. After Simon bites the dust, you're in the clear. Now you have all the pieces of the Atlantis tablet, which will get you into the bonus board of Atlantis. And since there are no bad guys to worry about, you should have no trouble finishing this mission on your own. <laughs>